Hello, here is Bibi Walker. Welcome to my channel again. I hope you are doing well. And the topic for today is to how to save your car battery life. In this video, I will show you how you could take care of the car battery thanks to main battery disconnector or main power switch. I will show you my work and discuss pros and cons of such solutions. So if you are interested in, let's go forward. Alright, so basically if you have more than one car in your household or company that you are not using on a daily basis, you need to think about installing such a simple switch. The cost of such switch is really low and in certain condition it can help save you a lot of money and problems, for example with starting your car. Basically you need to know that car batteries generally don't like long breaks in operation and over the time the efficiency of your battery will drop and you could have problems with starting the engine, especially in the cold winter days. In a cars that are used daily, on longer roads this problem does not occur, because the car is charging while driving. But if you are not using your car every day, or it stands in garage from quite some time, or you only using it or a very short distances, your battery is not enough charged. So, if you have a second or a third car that you use less often and mostly it stays in a garage, consider installing the main power switch. In my case, this Pajero is used on mostly on weekends and going, you know, to off-road trips and so on, and it's not my daily car, so I decided to install this switch in this particular model. Basic rule, the basic principle of main power switch is that it cuts the power of the whole electrical system. When it's properly installed, disconnecting it is the same like removing the battery from the car. So basically, you need to know that even a car has no problems with the electrical system and there is no so-called voltage leakage, it always requires some pieces of energy to working. If you have an uh, alarm, remote door opener, it constantly uses some energy. So if the battery voltage drops to a dangerously low level, there is a process called sulfation. It's a chemical process inside the battery that reduces the capacity of battery and in the end you may even need to replace the battery to a new one. So to avoid it, you need to recharge your car battery if you have such a device for recharging or use the main power switch because if the battery is disconnected it could even stand for a month and nothing happen. Actually it holds the voltage. Alright, so the installation of this switch is basically very simple and if you have some basic knowledge about electricity you can even do it by yourself. I have made it and I would like to show you my work in this video. Okay, so here are the basic rules. Rule first, you should always install the switch on the grounded side of the circuit. So the grounded side is mostly the side that is attached to the negative pole on the battery. But to be sure, you need to check which pole is connected to the engine block or the car chassis. So again, the grounded side is the side which is directly connected to the engine block or car chassis. In my condition and most of the cars, the negative pole, so the minus, is connected to car chassis. You can see it here. The, the second rule. Before you start cutting wires, disconnect the grounded pole wire from the battery. Uh, you should never, never do any electronics work on hard circuits. So if the battery is connected, everything in your car is working. So. I don't know, lights and everything is connected. So remove the side which is grounded. In my case, this is minus. Okay, the rule number three. You need to cut the wire on the grounded side and using this crimping piler, install a ring terminal that matches the side of the wire and the rings should be installed on the switch pins. After installing a switch, in a free space somewhere in the, you know, engine, near to engine or in a cabin. Basically, the, the rule is that you should always try to have the uh, wire as short as possible. And after you are good to go, you close the switch, so you set it to the position on, and you are checking if the card is responding, if the card is starting, and so on, and so on. 
Okay, so now let's take a look at the tools that I have used. First is the side cutting pilots to cut the wire on the proper moment, on the proper position. Then I have used this two-handed crimping plier uh, and this crimping or called so-called tubular cable lock ring terminals <laughs> is the professional name of this part that of course matches the wire dimension, the wire, you know, um, size. In my condition I have used the welding wire which is 35 mm square. I know this is a pretty thick wire but due to the high current during the engine start the general rule is the thicker the better. It is similar to the cables for emergency engine start. Please be aware that too thin cable has too much resistance and with this high current it could melt and cause a fire inside your car. Okay, so now let's talk about pros and cons of such solution because, you know, the producers do not install it by the factory. Some years ago, in trucks, for example, there was some switches for safety purposes. If, if you're working with fuel or something like this, disconnecting the main power actually gives you be 100% sure that nothing will, you know, make a fire during, from the electrical system in a car. Nowadays, the, most of the car has a lot of electronic things. This electronics is, you know, sometimes going crazy if you disconnect and connect the battery and the start-stop system. It's a quite uh, big topic for another video, but the main con of using this battery switch is that you save the battery life while your car is not operating. It stands in a garage, in a closed garage. It doesn't consume the energy from your battery at all. So, good thing is that you save the battery life, but the negative consequences of using it is that if you disconnect the electrical system of your car, you cannot use the remote lock to close your car and protect it. So basically this idea, this solution is only if you have your own garage that you can close, or you live in a neighborhood which is pretty safe and you're not afraid of someone <laughs> get into your car. Of course, you cannot start such a car because it's completely dead. It's like a car without the battery. So before you start, you need to open the hood and turn on the switch and then you are good to go. Of course, you are using this switch only if you plan a long-term break without operation. For example, a week or more. So, let's summarize. Now we have one advantage, which is saving your battery life, and one disadvantage, which is that your car is not protected by the internal locks, so you cannot hold inside anything pressure or you need to put it inside garage. There is another advantage, which is a safety if something happens, for example, with water, and you need to fastly remove the battery from your car, so you open the hood, turn off the switch and you are very safe. The another disadvantage is that you need to be aware is when you disconnect the power, the things, the equipment in your car like radio, clock will reset. So you need to set the time, the date again in your radio or clock. Okay, so I think it's all for now for this video, yeah, as always, if you have any questions, you would like to ask me something, just put a comment below the video, I read all the comments and I will try to answer all the comments, so don't hesitate to contact me. And for those of you who watch my channel for audio and instrumental things, don't worry, there is a lot of new topics coming by, I know there is a lot of requests for you, so please be patient, soon there will be new releases, uh, but lastly I have a lot of audio recording in a studio, so I need to change the topic for a moment, so... Please forgive me. Thanks for watching this video, thanks for watching my channel, thanks for 7000 subscribers and for those of you who do not subscribe my channel, please you can subscribe now. Please give me a like if you like this video and thanks for watching again. Have a nice day, it was BB Walker, good luck.